Braxton Dial asks, I'm going on a date on Wednesday. What's a good first date spot? I don't know. I've never been on a date before. Well, it really depends on a budget. Dinner and movies is a good good one. Maybe have dinner and a movie. Take her to your mom's house. No, we're not ready for marriage yet. Just, just take her to a movie. You don't want to go to a movie, because then you can't really talk to the person. I would suggest you go someplace where you can have good, quiet conversation and get to know one another. It depends on what type of person um, you're going with. Does this person like romance? Does this person like um, parties for kids? I would say it's a fancy restaurant because, you know, romantic. McDonald's is a good place. <laughs> it's a great place because McDonald's is amazing. A good first date spot would be stacked. You can make your own pizzas, you can make your own burgers, you can make your own sandwiches. They can make whatever they want and you can make whatever you want. The best first date spot would maybe be like a park, do something active. There's some like hiking places. Those can generally be good dates, especially when you get to the top and then you know you chill out sunset, you watch the sun go down. It's always nice to take someone to a pretty place, especially in a first date. You do want to impress the person that you're taking out. How am I supposed to know? I don't even know where you live. Go to the bar. <laughs> that was the only place I could think of. I'm like, a bar! Squirrel! Blake Walsh says, What do I do if I clog the toilet while at my friend's house? Oh my gosh. What do I do if I clog the toilet while at a friend's house? Run. Wow, Blake, this has probably happened to all of us. The first thing you want to do is look around to see if there is a plunger in the bathroom. I would get a plunger and try to flush it down the toilet before they find out about it. Call the plumber. Definitely tell their mom. Don't tell him. Just don't say anything about it. Let them find out. Just go to the parents. Don't talk to your friend because your friend will completely make fun of you for the entire like rest of your life. This one specifically, I know from experience. If it's your friend, I mean, you can always make jokes about it and be like, all right, where's the plunger so I can fix this? And it's not really that awkward of a situation. It's kind of just funny. Take responsibility for your actions. They're going to know it's you, so might as well just step up now. Ask them if they have any materials that uh, you know, to, to clean out the toilet that you could use. Tell how sorry you are and try to make it up to them by trying to give them a bit of some of your money to help pay. First of all, ew. You can come out and be like, hey, the toilet isn't working. <laughs> And they'll be like, oh, really? Last time I used it, it was perfectly fine. I'll be like, oh, I don't know. I guess another person used it and you didn't know. Lying is sometimes good. Just lie. Marius Evans wants to know. How do I deal with stress? I'm never stressed, so I think you should ask somebody else. I'm sorry. Buy a stress ball and just squeeze it. Get one of those weird, like, doll things and just squeeze its head off. Video games. Biggest stress relief ever. Take a nap. Sleep. Sometimes it's good to just take a nap. Well, as Shakespeare said, sleep that knits up the ravel sleeve of care. Just really get into eliminating things that would give you stress in your life. Too much news on TV, being on your Facebook for too long. For some people, it's step away, go sit down and read a book. For someone else, it might be to go jogging. Go on a run or play a sport or, you know, listening to music. Relax, maybe deep breathe and just go along with whatever the problem is. I hit you when I'm stressed out. Yeah, we hit each other so you can find someone to hit if they're okay with that. You know what I do? I open the computer and I get on YouTube. It kills everything. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. Because you think all these bad things are going to happen if you don't do certain things, like your homework or things like that. But just know that everything's going to be okay, you're going to get everything done on time, and you have nothing to worry about. And just keep yourself calm. Orlando Leva writes, What do you do when you see someone getting bullied? Is it ever okay to step in? Known if the person doing the bullying is very strong and might injure you. I don't think that would be wise. Just. Yell for a policeman. I'll try to step in if I can help. The worst thing to do is not to step in at all. If you were in that type of situation, you would want someone to step in too. So if you see that happening, you should definitely step in. Like a superhero. If somebody's getting bullied, you want to stop it because something bad might happen to the person that's getting bullied. It could screw up their whole life. If you see somebody getting bullied, you should say, hey, I don't think that's right. You should stop. But if they come close to you, go tell your teacher. If you see someone like beating someone up, then I mean, I think you should like try and help break it up. Yes, absolutely. You ever see somebody getting bullied, don't stand for it. 
Get in there, throw hands. No, you should not fight help them. Help that person out. You should help them out maybe by separating the fight or doing the best you can by... Throwing hands. Okay, throwing hands, I guess. Don't attack the bully uh, because that would probably have the person turn on you or bully the other person more. Try and uh, be a little bit sympathetic to the bully because probably that person has been abused uh, themselves by their own family. Uh, I think that's why they need to prove that they're stronger. Hell yeah, step in. I consider myself an enforcer. Whenever I've seen it, I've stepped in and stopped it immediately. Or if you don't feel like, like you have the capability to do so, just go rat right on them immediately. Don't even try to step in. If they try to mess with you, rat right on them again. Keep going until they stop. Personal experience, I know, I've been there. Definitely okay, that's what I do all the time when I see somebody bullying, that's what you should do too. Jada, five S-O-S. -S. Jada, five sauce, five sauce, five seconds of summer, I'm sorry, okay. Jada, five seconds of summer is asking, how do you get an annoying song out of your head? I myself have never had an annoying song running through my head. Some of the kids' cartoon movies that I've watched with my grandkids, the music sticks in my head sometimes. Well, knowing you, you probably are addicted to 5SOS and all their songs, so <laughs> those are very tricky to get out of your head. How about just go into a forgetting chamber or something? Find another song to replace it. Listen to another annoying song. Or just listen to Radio Disney. Try to listen to the song again, like a couple more times. And if it doesn't get out of your head, find a song you like that you know is catchy and listen to that song. Keep singing it. You play another song. No, no. That's what you do. You play another it. song. I would suggest drinking a good stiff shot of brandy. Thanks for watching Advice on the React channel. Hope you like it. Bros, gals, I get it. Their struggles. If you've got questions, just put, put them in the comments below. Here's some good advice. Subscribe to the React channel. Hasta luego. <laughs> what? That means see you later. We should do that again. Hasta luego. All right, ready, 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 ready. Uh, sayonara. <laughs>